Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two, one, two. Maybe I just wasn't sad. Like maybe I just needed to rearrange my room and like have new decor. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I've solved the issue. I low key feel like I've solved my problem because honestly, I used to be heavily addicted to rearranging my room. Like when I had my other rooms, I feel like I had them set up so that I could adjust anything at any time. Like in my first apartment, when I moved out of this home, I actively rearranged my room like maybe every other month. And I don't even know why. I would be bored and I'd be like, you know what? I just need to test out what my bed would look like on this side of the room or what my bed, my desk would look like on this side of the room. And I would like randomly choose to do that like midweek or like a calm Tuesday evening or something. Like my hair care has been out the window. I don't think I oiled my hair within the last week and I feel terrible. Ooh, my hair feels brittle. Can you hear it? I can hear it. And I really had to think about it. Like, do all people in their late 20s or just their mid to late 20s feel like they need to be changing things in their life drastically? I've been craving change since as long as I can remember, like literally birth at this point. And my thing is, I feel like when you're in your 20s, you get to this even more intense chapter of change which like I feel like I thrive on personally. Like I love change, but I also like it on my terms. Um, <laughs> so that is where I'm having issues. Like, I feel like in your 20s, you're just really automatically questioning everything. You're questioning your career, you're questioning your relationships, you're questioning your life goals. You're literally just questioning everything around you. It's just been a little too much. And like, I know I keep referring back to that video where I said I took a break from social media. And the more I think about it, the more I feel like I feel like that break from social was really because I just needed to shift my priorities around. And the more I keep reading like these articles on like being in your 20s or like books on like being present, you know, with power of now and stuff, it's like it's like you just have a greater focus on your personal growth and like your fulfillment. And it's nothing bad about it, but it's just like you actively are trying to reach new goals. And that could literally just get overwhelming because I feel like in your late 20s, life aggressively starts life. And like, that's the only explanation that I randomly decided to, one, change my morning routine, two, change my afternoon routine, three, change up my entire bedroom. Well, I didn't really change it up, but I ripped that sucker off the wall because I had to. Like, I don't know what else to say besides I had to. My body said it was time. And when your body says it's time, you listen. I definitely feel like it's common for people in their 20s to feel stuck. And that's probably why my therapist was really upset at me that I was like saying that my situation was different. Like, do I look okay on camera besides my hair just looking crazy? Yeah. Ooh, I keep forgetting that mic is there. I hope this is actually working and not messing up this video. Cause I'm gonna tell you right now, if I go and watch this video, and the audio is not good. I feel like while they say, you know, post-college is like a really hard time. I personally feel like post-college was rough, but nothing has been even more rough than my 25 to 26 year. Like, holy bus, it's out the bando. Like, there's just no breaks. And that's I think that's the problem. Like, I need like a winter break or something like to just... My thing is, I feel like when I'm upset about how something is going, I want to change it. But like being upset about almost every aspect of my life has sent me in severe spirals. Like I feel stuck all the time. And I even was telling my therapist that like, I feel like it's past being stuck. I'm just, my therapist was telling me that I'm not stuck and that I'm making small progress. But personally, I feel stuck and I'm just on the hamster wheel and I'm not even on the hamster wheel getting fresh air. I'm in the hamster wheel, like the, those rolly balls. I'm in the rolly balls. Like I'm not even getting fresh air. Like I'm damn near suffocating up in that sucker, okay? And I'm just strolling along, <laughs> gasping for air every few seconds because that's all I can do. Like I just feel so confined. I'm literally in the hamster wheel. It's really interesting to see how my need for change rolls into my other relationships because, oh, wrong eight. Sorry, I'm getting off topic because I'm trying to think about my makeup routine at the same time. Um, hold on, let me find this. I feel like it does heavily impact my relationships with like other men because like 
I don't know. I just feel like men already don't like they already don't mature as quickly as girls. And then I just lost my train of thought. I'm talking about relationships. I'm so sorry. I don't like this contour. No one look at it. No one look at it. I'm actually going to cover it up. What? Why does it look like this? Only my previous ex, I feel like, was someone who enjoyed change and like wanted to continue changing their their career goals, their lifestyle. Like, you know, was like on my same level of craving change and craving <clears throat> like their their need to fulfill their goals. Personally, I did not get that from my other two exes. And it's just not it's just not in everyone. But it and it and it really does make like it really does make the dating scene a lot harder when you're not finding people as driven. Personally, that's my issue. I feel like I'm finding people that don't do anything, like they have no hobbies. They might have, I feel like maybe I'm just an unrealistic dreamer and I crave the change because I know where I want to be. Yeah, I feel like maybe I just know where I want to be and that's what like fuels me a little bit more. But it is definitely really hard for me to find men that align with my same goals and everything when I know that I desperately love change. And it's no shade to them, but I get bored. Like, if you guys are not trying to achieve anything in your life and you're just working that nine to five day in and day out, I don't know if we get along. Cause, like, that's boring to me. You don't have no hobbies, not one. Working out does not count, in my opinion. You need, you need to like something else, too. I don't know. Because I feel like working out is a part of everyone's routine. Or at least it should be. You know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking out loud. I don't really know, guys. Am I just chatting on here? Or you guys hear what I'm putting down? Y'all know say, y'all know say, y'all know say. That's probably why my relationships have not passed, like, a year. Because I get so bored of these men, like this out, like they're just they're just whack. I can probably tell if I'm really gonna be with these men longer than a year, like within the first four months, and then the six months is to like the rest of the six months is like give them. I gotta give them a chance to like redeem themselves because, like I said, they mature slower than women. So, but yeah, never had a relationship longer than a year, and it's probably because they're not on my same level of like need for change. Which now that I'm thinking about it is kind of crazy, but really accurate. I, I like the change because I like new routines, new opportunities for growth. But I feel like a lot of the men in my life do not like that change because they fear the uncertainty of what happens when they leave that job, that apartment, that, you know, their whatever situation they're in. And I think that's like whack. Shoot, like I'm scared too. Like I, the heck, what you think? I know what's going to happen. I can't like tell the future and it's just like I don't know I just feel like the whole point of your 20s is to take risk because you have the opportunity to take said risk without feeling like you're literally letting down your entire family of five or like you know what I mean I don't know it's just like you have the time to literally explore and do things or like just get out of your comfort zone and I think that's what I that's what I like to do. I like to get myself out of my comfort zone. Are you guys finding the same thing in the dating world or am I just finding really whack men to date? <laughs> Definitely let me know the truth. Um, Cause that is something I feel like I come across a lot. Like these men are very scared of change and that's just so concerning, I guess to say at least. But I also feel like a lot of it is just feeling like you know your purpose and maybe that's what it was. I do feel like those two other men in my life probably didn't know like their purpose or feel like they knew their purpose. I can personally say I I have, well, I don't exactly know where I am supposed to be. I do know I'm in the right field and the right, I'm doing the right things because it feels right. Cause I'm, cause I'm the, I'm the happiest when I'm doing these things. And you know, it's just like, I feel like I've always known this was going to be my field. Like I've always known I wanted to be in a creative space or, you know, a creative career and, Maybe that's where I get a lot of my comfort from and my change. It's like knowing that I'm on the right path, I guess. Now, okay, so I actually did film myself doing this new morning routine. And I don't know why I didn't do like a normal intro or why I didn't change my shirt, guys. 
I actively watched these clips last night and I was like, why did I keep this shirt on for so long? I look disgusting. I actually look like a bum. Like I look like the bummiest version of myself in this video, like with this ugly shirt on. Like I promise the shirt is not dingy like that. I probably just washed my face and the water got everywhere and I didn't know the water got everywhere. And then I filmed like a, a whole video with that nasty shirt on. I also hope that, you know, my combo with you like might have given you some hope that like things are gonna be better or like you know that you're not the only one struggling with these things because personally I do feel like I'm the only one struggling with being 26 year old living at home trying to figure out life and dealing with you know the world's challenges because I am the only one living at home in my friend group almost I mean, there's only one other friend that's living at home and I feel like we don't even see each other as much as we should because we're both busy so we're like yeah I feel kind of alone but like let's get into this morning routine together good morning rise and shine please ignore my typical black girl pajamas which is just an old t-shirt and some shorts so no hate no hate please no hate please i've already kind of started my morning routine as i usually do first things first wake up shower i already showered last night boom skincare boom just wash my face okay get dressed hair and makeup so i do have let's check my meetings oh maybe i don't want you to see my meetings but i have basically meetings from 10 to 1 today where i might need to show my face so i need to just be prepared just in case that happens because i hate when i'm unprepared and they're like can everyone turn their cameras on and i'm like you need to give us heads up okay i don't even need to really dress up and do anything crazy i just need to like have something mildly presentable on my body and for this morning routine like i've been watching a lot of i've been watching a lot of videos online just to get an idea of what i might want to add in case i don't love mine so um i've been watching a lot of videos and honestly i feel like people have a lot of silly things in their video okay let me not call it silly because people might need the reminders but like people have on there like drink water like after a week after waking up I'm like, bro, you don't drink water after you wake up. I wake up and I'm dehydrated. I am dying of thirst. Like, I don't need to remind myself to literally drink water. I, I leave this by my nightstand. I'm guzzling it down at like three in the morning. I'm guzzling it down at seven, six. Like, I finish like two to three of these a day. I don't think that's where I need help. So... Okay, so let me explain why I have some things on here. I added journaling on there because honestly, I really have fallen off my journaling grind, but I think I'm back, I'm back in the weeds. I think I'm back at it, like a crack addict. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that because like crack is bad, no one do crack, but I really am back at it. My least favorite part about getting dressed in the mornings is finding an outfit because I hate my clothes right now. I actually just hired my friend to make my work my work outfits for me. Like she have been has been recently into like fashion and stuff. I guess not recently, but I guess she's been into fashion and she just wants to like create a portfolio for herself. And so she like posted on her close friends that she wanted to help out like friends. And I messaged her like, girl, immediately, immediately help me actually because I dread going to work when I can't find an outfit. I dread my wardrobe when I literally don't like how I look. That should help me a little bit with <clears throat> my morning routine. <clears throat> Maybe I should put this on my on my thing. I need to add on here pack of vitamins. You know, I'm glad I said that because I do forget that part. After the makeup, no, after I have my TJ drink, I should say, take vitamins. Guys, I've been actually having this really weird experience. I feel like every time I'm on here, I mention TikTok and I hate that. But like, I also read an article, maybe I'll start with that so I don't look as bad. Guys, I read this article and I was on TikTok and I saw like the benefits of like eating garlic because, okay, what prompted this was, a few like a few months ago i'm pretty sure i had some sort of something happened to me i probably had a breakout or allergic reaction or something and i was like oh i need garlic to help me fix this problem so i bought pills of odorless garlic but then i was reading the benefits yesterday after i saw this girl's tiktok where she was literally eating raw garlic and honey and was like i'm trying to get glass skin guys my skin has gotten a lot more glass like and i don't know if it's because I'm on new acne medicine. I'm on tretinoin 0.1% now, which 
is an upgrade i was on 0.05 and it was not making my skin look like this so now i'm on that and i've been taking my garlic pills like my skin is busting out the bandeau like i honestly even the breakouts that i got during this last period like didn't even really scar me well maybe that one right there but it didn't even really do the damage that it could have and i'm gonna take that as a win i'm taking it as a win but yeah my allergies in this house is so bad i have to take these every single day otherwise i'm really done up done up okay but let me hurry up so i can actually start work like in in 20 minutes i need to start in 20 minutes so yeah okay on to the makeup another part of the day i actually was starting to hate my makeup because it wasn't really fitting my shade but after memorial day weekend i was in the sun baking 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 for so long that now i i need to put you guys in front of me i do i just do i was in the sun baking for so long that i literally am like five shades darker and i'm now using makeup shades that i have not used since like last year which is crazy because even last year <clears throat> even last year i don't think i got dark enough to even like use those shades because i like it was so rainy i have so upset i can't talk all of a sudden oh man okay so i actually did just choke I was scary. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, love. I got so dark that I've had to switch. So I actually am kind of pissed about it because I was using this Fenty, this Fenty makeup, and I got confused right now because I see three of these here. But I have a 330 and a 350. One 330, two 350s, and then a 315 Pro filter. Bro, I'm like, what was I thinking buying this like this week? It fit my shade for the winter. Like, I just had it on in the last video. Literally the last video. And now I have to go and use my freaking MAC sticks because they're, like, so much darker. And they actually fit me. So I have to go in now with, like, the NC, NC45. That's my, that's my shade for real. And even this is still a little light, but it blends out really well. So I've really been eating this up. Come on, melanin. Maybe I just like myself with more melanin. I don't know what it is. I'm still pretty light. And I look really light in this camera, but I really am darker. Like, you can't tell, but I swear to you, I'm like five shades darker. I'm not kidding. Like maybe you can see my tan lines. You can see it. It's not as bad as, let me get out of this. Can you see it at all? But I promise I'm tan. So that's been that. But journaling, I used to keep this. Um, I'm getting really off topic. I'm so sorry, guys. But for journaling, I used to keep this book. I used to keep a notes page in my thing where I would just like keep track of all the prompts I already used or like prompts that I liked enough that I would want to reuse. This stuff sprays a little too much. Okay, so I don't know if I talked about this, but I got the all-nighter, um, the one with the vitamin C and the cactus flower water. And, okay, I'm not gonna hold you. It does hydrate my skin like crazy, but I feel like it makes me look way too shiny. Like, to the point where it's like, did you even put setting powder on? Like, you're... It, okay, maybe that's the look, though. Maybe that's, like, the glass skin look. You see how, like, my entire face is literally shining right now? I feel like I'm gonna regret that, but whatever. I'm just home today. It's fine. Oh, also, I definitely forgot to mention everything in here, like the CeraVe, my makeup wipes that have also helped my skin so much more than drying it with a face towel. Um, these are busting out the bandeau. I probably talked about these. All this stuff is on my Amazon um, storefront, so feel free to go below, check out the link, and check out my favorite stuff. Check out my favorite items. Okay, I'm gonna journal. My cute little journal. I don't even remember where I got it from. My first one in here is from December of 2021. So we're three years deep into this and it's just not even full. Like it's not full. I'm right here in the book. I'm like halfway, actually. So that's how you know, like I've fallen off. One sec, I'll be back. Oh, maybe I should do a prompt for you guys. If you wanna join me, if you wanna grab your journal and write while I write, feel free to pause the video and come back we're not done yet okay maybe we should do a prompt for today let me look on here do i still have them 
journal prompt. No, I guess I got rid of it. Give me a journal prompt for today. Hmm, I don't know that one. Can you give me a journal prompt for my diary? Hmm. What should I write about in my diary? Keeping a diary is a great way to express your feelings. Record your stop. Just stop. Just stop. I wanted your help and you suck right now. Well, recently I've been talking a lot about dreams. So I think if you're going to join me in journaling, I'm probably going to write about trying to reach... Well, yesterday, let me explain. So yesterday I was asking my friend, like, what's your, what's your dream job and what's your unrealistic dream job? Like, my unrealistic dream job would literally probably be like a like a singer like i would probably want to be like some sort of pop singer or a rapper which is crazy which is crazy if you ever heard me rap don't but i like to sing i've always wanted to be a singer since i was little but i'm gonna write about like achieving those unrealistic and realistic dreams so i'll be back okay journal check stretching no let me grab my trader joe's drink <coughs> Oh my god. Okay, drink has been secured. So I put it in my little Starbucks cup that my boss gave me for my birthday. I actually love it. Um, in case you want to go to Trader Joe's and get your own, this is what I drink every single morning. I'm actually about to start putting collagen powder in this because I need to tighten up. I told you, like, I really want to get Botox. I'm fighting it. It's actually gotten a lot better, guys. Like, I used to have really crazy laugh lines here. Like, even, I kid you not, like, before I started using it's been a month probably I've been on this my laugh lines are gone like obviously they're still there but they're gone it was so it was way deeper than this I, I'm not exaggerating they were deeper than this and now these past few days I've been waking up and I'm like oh my god I have no I have no laugh lines where they go natural Botox and I'm gonna say it's the garlic pills and the tretinoin y'all better start getting your tretinoin and your garlic pills <laughs> mm, but also my secret with the almond drink is i have to put ice in it hello no i'm just filming oh. people are on me so you gotta tell them i just walked in they could probably hear like you guys see what i deal with the whole house is awake this is why i like to wake up way earlier hi fans bow 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 my bad it's sexy. Yeah, come on. It's sexy. Do I want to open? Like, they're yelling in the hallway talking about, do I want to open? No. I need to restock my vitamins. Don't talk about how ratchet it is. Okay, wait. Also, the only thing about the garlic pills is they literally tell you to take, like, three a day. That's extreme. Or it might be six. But I take three a day. I don't need more than that. I don't. Okay, I have to restock my vitamins, but let's say I took them. I don't have time now. Now I feel like I'm doing some sort of half, like a half-ass morning routine. This is kind of lit. I I'm not gonna lie, I had a good time. This kind of helped me start my day. Am I a little late to work right now? Yeah, like five minutes late, but that's okay. I'm gonna just hop on the computer, get my stuff done. Let me know if you guys add some stuff to your morning routines or maybe some things that I should try. I used to meditate, so I guess if I don't stretch, I'll put meditate on here because I really do love to listen to sound bowls, crystal sound bowls. That's like my thing. Um, but yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm going to hurry up and clean up so that I can get on the computer and grind. Um, I had so much fun hanging out with you this morning. See you guys next time. Bye.